Casper. I don't want to be that guy. You say I told you so, but <laughs> it's up at almost two cents. Three hundred and fifty-four million market cap. It was under three hundred like two days ago, and a lot of people are calling this a scam. I wonder if it keeps ripping. If I'm going to keep seeing those comments in this video, very curious. It's less than a year old. You keep hearing this one's better. This one's better. They had the ICO. It's a scam. It's a rug. Whatever. It's fairly launched. Has Bitcoin's fundamentals. Yes, it seems like a large market cap despite no major listing. But that actually makes me bullish, not bearish. To see it rise up like this without a major listing, imagine what's going to happen when it gets on a Binance listing or a Coinbase listing or a Gemini listing or a Crypto.com listing. It's riding up right now without those big investors jumping into it. Right now, I see the comments. A lot of people that aren't investing into it yet are those that don't want to chance it on either Uphold or Mexi or another exchange that's not very well known or secure. That's the only reason, in my opinion, right now, aside from it being only less than a year old, that people are staying away. It's because it's not on any big exchange yet. And I bought it at the penny and a half range. So I don't think it's going to go to a penny again. Can it? Yes, always a chance. My mentality when I buy crypto is to get it so cheap that when it rides up, the risk of not taking profits is very minimal. So if in a bull cycle, let's just say this hits a dollar, I don't want to take profits because I want to invest into cash but long term, I can comfortably say when it reaches a dollar that it's probably not going to hit my target price of a penny and a half. So that's my mentality when I look to invest. I look to get very cheap, but I also don't wait super long to do it. And this is why I say you got to do your own research. If you want to try to time these investments, that's one thing. But get your first investment in first if you're bullish on the company. If you don't have an investment in first, it's very annoying to be picky, especially when you see pumps like this for these newer assets. So Casper, to me, I think this is going to break two cents, maybe by the end of the day. Who knows? I mean, it already hit four cents, over four cents a month ago. Like, it's very possible, guys. I mean... A lot of people are starting to find out about Caspa, but this is a hidden gem, a needle in the haystack. It's literally like combining Bitcoin and Ethereum together. It's a layer one like Ethereum, but with different technology, a block tag, but it has Bitcoin's fundamentals, which puts it in a great position to scale while retaining the security and decentralization properties that Bitcoin and more specifically a proof of work consensus provides so this is a layer one that yes has competition but it's doing what no other ledger is doing right now being a proof of where crypto potentially solving the trilemma we're going to see this battle test take place this bull cycle caspa really has a shot at not only breaking the top 100 but absolutely flying down the list into the top 10 this bull cycle. I know that's saying a lot. I know you're probably like, John, I've never seen this bullish. Look into Caspa. Jonathan Sampolinski is a computer engineer who had a very big hand in designing Ethereum's tech. And I know there's a lot of Ethereum critics out there. There's over 4,000 active developers in Ethereum's ecosystem for a reason. They believe in the tech. So your opinion and I'm not trying to be mean, but your opinion doesn't matter when you have 4,000 plus developers actively building on Ethereum and the institutional money is just flowing through Ethereum despite the high gas fees, despite the slow transaction times. So this is where you got to really dig deep and try to find some of these hidden plays. Caspa is taking the foundation from Ethereum, the mastermind behind the protocol, and is combining Bitcoin's fundamentals while being a layer one, it is doing what Bitcoin was originally created to do but failed to do. So if you're bullish on Bitcoin, if you're bullish on Ethereum, you have to be looking at Casper and it's your watch list. Even though it rose up considerably from when I last covered it, below two cents is still a steal, guys. I still see this reaching a dollar, around a dollar or more this bull cycle. 
not 2030, this bull cycle, less than two years. If you 50 extra money, that's a huge ROI. And that's just one asset. And like I covered in my last video, getting to a dollar is a 17, 18 billion market cap with the current tokenomics they have. So we'll round it up to maybe 20 billion. 20 billion for Caspa is definitely doable. This is not a clickbait video. I'm not one of these moon boys putting the whole loan face telling you it's going to $100. I know a hidden gem when I see it. Now, I know I don't call every single play. I'm not this perfect person. There is risk involved with any asset. But if you're trying to find a small cap that is similar to Bitcoin in nature, a commodity, low risk of the SEC pursuing them, a great leader behind it, solid tech, innovative tech, you got to add cash but to your watch list. I think four sets is going to be absolutely crushed soon. It can happen right now. It can happen during this accumulation cycle. The Bitcoin having is still less than a year away. We still got at least, what, 10, 11 months. Caspa can easily fly to around 10 cents before that even takes place. Like its market cap is small enough to make it fly during this time. This is where Quant was when it was $40. It was around this market cap size. It flew up at a moment's notice because people started figuring out about it despite no retail advertising. And you're going to see the same happen with Caspa, in my opinion. I would not be surprised if it hits 10 cents before the Bitcoin halving. And if you can five extra money before the Bitcoin halving or before the bull cycle even starts, that's a huge win in my book. Just like I left my house a second ago, that is how quick Casper can fly from two cents. And I'm not trying to create FOMO. I just want you guys to take a deeper look at it, at it, add it to your watch list. And if you're from the US and you want to look to potentially get into it, I'll pull this where I'm holding mine right now. And if you want to use Mexi, you can. Just be very careful. Some of these exchanges are very shady. But as I was saying before, I think this is only just the beginning for Caspa. And as an investor of it, I am super bullish on this future. But I want to hear from you. How do you feel about Caspa right now at two cents? Where do you see its rank on coin market cap by the end of the bull cycle? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.